Alright, next boss to fight here. What have we got? Some rosin over here. Shouldn't be too bad. Let's get those two more Kative over here. Shouldn't be too bad. Just gonna fight this thing little by little. You'll be fine. We just wear it down little by little. We should be alright though. I think our accuracy is not gonna help us here. Or maybe it's some sort of lag happening. I don't know what it is. But something feels really off here. I feel like some attacks aren't even connecting. Maybe I gotta be looking directly at the enemy. Maybe that's what I gotta be doing. But it feels like half my attacks aren't even connecting. For whatever reason. Exploit. There we go. We got him. We got him on the ropes. We got him on the ropes here. Just a little bit more. A little more. Got it. Gotta keep going. Gotta keep going. We got him. We can persevere here. Good. Alright, I think we just leveled here. <laughs> yeah, we just leveled. We just leveled here. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my lord. Health? Yes, we need to increase our health. We definitely need to increase our health. Commit points to health. Oh no, we can also put them up one point in. Alright, good. Let's go to skills and put in two points into our skills. What can we improve here? One-handed shield, we need to improve some sort of damage ability here. <laughs> oh boy. This is uh quite something. What can we improve here? Piercing javelin? We don't even have that anymore. Oh. Uh is there a damage ability we can improve here? Dawn's Wrath. Uh, increased duration of your Sunfire Eclipse and Nova abilities might be really good to have. Uh, Destruction Staff, can we improve anything from here? No, we can't. No, we cannot. Alright, best to just improve our main stats here. Can we do anything for heavy and light armor? Nothing in particular. Damn it. Damn it. Uh, Fighter's Guild, we should definitely improve that. Weapon damage, each Fighter Guild ability slotted? Nope. Um, 3 ultimate when killing a dead deed and werewolves. That might be really good. We can put a point into this, definitely. This will help us out at this current moment. Circle protection, I don't know if that would be any good for us at the moment. Mage adept. No, we gotta put another point in here, don't we? Oh, uh, god, what kind of point can we put in here at this point? Uh, racial? Is there any kind of racial things we can put in? Anything for our Argonian skills? Our resourceful? Increase in magicka by 2? That'd be really good. No, healing down by 3. Yes, we're gonna put in this so we can do more healing on ourselves. Let's fight this room more creative here. See if we can defeat him. There we go. Little by little, little by little, we should be good. Block that. Exploit. Alright, we're good. Let's go and shut this thing down. Alright, so we gotta take on the bosses little by little. That's what we have to do here. Understandable, we can totally do that. We just gotta be really careful and time our abilities. This is gonna be one of the most interesting and difficult boss fights I will ever have to deal with, ever. And Cable of Ayla betrayed us. I was thinking that would be a high possibility that that could happen, to be honest. I was thinking that could be a really high chance that Ayla would betray us. Her necromancy was a big giveaway. See, usually nobody ever even deals with necromancy, no matter who you are. You never go to the dark side of necromancy, ever. And then she allowed herself to do so. I wonder if you can attract the enemy over here. Let's see if you can maybe pull him in, cut him all the way here. Cut him all the way to this battle right here. There you go. Good. So we gotta make it a little bit easier to deal with the enemy if we are all the way out here. We'll deal with the aura. If Aelif can take- no, if not- if Mary can take it for a little bit, then we can do some damage from afar. I wonder how much damage, so we don't have to attract too much attention on ourselves. We're attracting some attention right now. We might be able to heal through it though, so it should be alright. Okay, we need to heal a little bit. There we go. We're just gonna keep spam spamming from afar for now. That's what we can do for now. There we go, there we go. Good, good, good. Attack. Come on. There you go. Elemental attacks on him. Good. Back away from the attack. Good. Avoid the laser. Alright, I think we might be alright here. Just gotta go a little bit more. Gotta go a little more. Gotta look a little more. One more. Oh, Lord. Good. Oh. Alright. One of the bosses down. Uh, we can't even loot anything anymore. We are over-encumbered completely. Alright, time to deal with the last couple of minions. She took all his comrades. Aleph, you we have nothing with you anymore. You are not comrades no more, I'm sorry. But we aren't. Nope. No abilities for you, sir. Good. Oh, 
Hopefully this is enough. I don't. I hope we don't have to fight Aleph afterwards. Nope, we have to fight Aleph now. Kill Aleph. Oh, shit. Is that Aleph over there? Yeah, that's Aleph. Oh, no. <laughs> uh, Merrick, go on, buddy. Help me out here. Receive my power and destroy them. Oh my God. Okay, that's Aleph. That's Aleph. That's Aleph right there. She's a dragon now. She's a dragon demon thing. All right, back away, back away. Line of sight, line of sight. This thing. Try to heal. Try to heal with everything we got. Dodge, dodge the crazy. Dodge the crazy. We got this. We don't totally got this. We don't totally got this. We don't got this. No, we don't got this. Where's she going? Using an ability away from us. All right, Merrick, go for a bud. Go get her. Go get her. Go get her, dude. You got her. Let's summon a way around her. There we go. There we go. Good, good, good. Let's keep damaging around her. Good, good, good. I'm gonna keep doing this. Okay. LOS, LOS. Good. As long as we can LOS, we should be alright. We gotta just keep burning her. Just gotta keep burning her. We'll be fine. We'll be fine. Just gotta keep attacking her. Auto attack, auto attack, auto attack, auto attack, auto attack, auto attack, auto attack. Oh, lord. <laughs> oh, my lord. This is terrifying on so many levels. I'm scared. I'm legit scared. I'm scared. I'm really scared. <laughs> All right, let's do this here. Let's go ahead and do some dodge rolls here. Epic dodge rolling. Epic hey, dodge rolling. You, you miserable failure. You are not worthy of my gifts. She is not worthy. Of course, she's not worthy. Kill Aleph. Okay, she's dead. Oh, <gasps> oh Lord. <laughs> oh my God, Merrick. My man, my man Merrick. That's how we do it, dude. What a bloody tragic business. Yeah, really dramatic as well. Oh. <laughs> hey, Caesar Cause, we'll try to rescue here in a bit. You did it. The traitor is dead. And Molag Baal's hold on Tamriel is weakened. You are wise, comrade. Wise and strong. Good. Let's go talk to Yafnir now. Comrade. Done it. I am free. Free from Ragnar's barrier and that dark cat's shackles. Why are you here, Yafner? I am here to keep you safe, comrade, and to help you see this task done. You must destroy this abomination, this Mortum Vivicus. What should I do? Throw the weapon into the center of the construct. Molag Bal's dark plot will be at an end. Don't be afraid. I will keep you safe, my comrade. I'll see it done. Alright, let's destroy this thing. Mortem Vivicus. Done it, comrade. I will light your way home. <sighs> okay. Alright, it good looks like we're going back. Oh, <laughs> Wow, this was probably like one of the coolest fights I've ever done. One of the most epic fights, one of the most massive, just big fights I've ever done in this game ever. One of the most challenging things especially since I was extremely underleveled, but I love this. I love the challenge that came behind it. I think the challenge was actually one of the coolest things I've ever experienced in this entire game ever. As a level 35 or 34 turned 35 in a dungeon, I think I did one of the most impressive things ever. Oh. Let's talk to Merrick and uh, Cezo Color to see what they think about this. Thanks, Stendar. Safely back in Tamriel. Now we just have to face the council. Yeah, oh god. Now we're gonna have to deal with the, the politics behind Cezo Color's being alive. Oof. Thank you for sparing my life, comrade, but my scales are dry with fear. I believe the council is about to unspare me. Can we talk to any of the council members? This, these guys have to be the council members, right? Borgen Dilmith, uh, Swakma the Crude. Yeah, these are the council members. Countess uh, Hakruba. We got General Flaminius Octor. God, he looks really cool. And we also have Rayam Iron Ear. Yeah, these are the council members, aren't they? Let's talk to Yafnir about this. You've done well, my friend. The Mortum Vivacus is destroyed. Thank you for your help, Yafnir. 
It has been an honor to save the guild I served in life. Now the Council has assembled. You should speak to them. Unless Hakruba has changed a great deal since my death, she won't like to be kept waiting. Sounds good. We can do that. Oh, okay. <laughs> Down with one boss, now to another, convincing Countess Hakruba not to execute Cecil Colors. Comrade, it is good to speak with you again. And you, Countess. Beira told us of Aleph's plan to hunt seize all colors. I see that Merrick and the spirit of Yafnir Iceblade accompany you. Tell us, for all, and the eight to hear. What happened? Merrick, Aleph, and I traveled to Oblivion, tracking seize all colors. Carrying out our sentence, punishment for her foul deed, and yet I notice that she still stands hale and whole. Why is this? She confessed to the crime, but she convinced me. Uh, her cause was just. Truly? Just? The murder of a brave and fair-handed leader was just? What words did she weave to convince you of this? She's a priestess. Oh god, this looks really bad, doesn't it? <laughs> She's a priestess of Meridia. She sought only the destruction of the Morden Vivicus. I see. I know Meridia is an enemy of death across Tamriel. A light in the darkness, but still. Very well. We will deal with her in a moment. Where is the Khajiit Aleph? She tried to kill us. She was a follower of Moloch Baal. I slew her and destroyed the Vivicus. Yet more betrayal. I've known for years that her tongue was forked. But the Lord of Lies! You have cleansed an evil corruption from the guild, comrade. We owe you a debt of gratitude. See, I told you there was something weird about Aleph. I noticed it especially when she started using Necromancy to summon back uh, the old guild leader. That is... That is a big taboo. That's a huge taboo in the Elder Scrolls universe. Necromancy is no. That's a big no. What about Merrick? He was innocent in all this. You do not need to worry about Merrick. We have already reached our decision about him. However, seize all colors. Comrade, normally we would never allow a Daedric worshipper to remain close to the guild leadership, but these are desperate times. Oh god. Uh, Cesar Color stays or leaves. She did what she felt she had to, let her serve the guild. You're right, we can't allow a Daedric Worshipper so close to the council. Uh, I, it might be Argonian favoritism, but I feel like we have to keep her in. We have to keep her in. Although I understand the code, you know, the code of the Fighters Guild is to stay true and not to let da you know, Daedric influence at all whatsoever. Oh lord, this is difficult. This is really, really difficult. I feel like we have to keep her in. I feel like we have to keep her in. I'm all for Cezo. I'm a Team Cezo Colors, guys. I have to be Team Cezo Colors. It brings me some unease to admit, but I think you're right. And I believe I know just what service she can offer. If you will, comrade, attend me at my side. We have some matters to discuss. As you say, Countess. Observe the Council's justice. Present yourself to the council. Let's see what happens here. The council has decided we will honor the contract to fight the Daedra. Meridia continues to provide coin through her worldly servants. But we cannot allow a murderer to remain guildmaster. I understand. We have decided to award you a new title. The Light of the Guild. You will advise the new guildmaster in all matters relating to the Daedra for the rest of your days. Penance for the blood on your hands. Thank you, Countess. I will not let you down. You were dismissed. Merrick, present yourself to the Council. Merrick Ataswala, in light of your service to the Guild, in light of your sound judgment and brave heart, we cannot think of anyone more appropriate than you. You, Merrick, are to be the new Guildmaster of the Fighters Guild. It will be your responsibility to oversee completion of the contract established by Seize All Colors. Remain vigilant against the forces of Molag Bal. The Guild is a shield, a bastion for the people of Timriel, where it will. You've been quiet, Merrick. What do you have to say about all this? I thank you, council members. I accept this position with honor and grace. I swear to my ancestors 
I will not let you down. Now, Guildmaster, please see our friend out. We have much to discuss, and little time in which to plan. Comrade, we wish you well in your travels, and look forward to our next encounter. Sounds Comrade, good. You can't do much good hiding in this forge. Let's get you back into the fight. Alright. Oh my god. Alright, so... Seasonal Colors is going to become Light of the Guild, and going to be a Daedric, uh, Daedric Counselor regarding any kind of Daedric activity and Daedric knowledge. I like that. And Merrick is going to be now Guild Leader. I'm liking this development. I'm really liking this development. I think this is like the best enemy we could possibly get through here. I hope nothing else bad happens. We now got the battle against Molag Bob with the Fighters Guild. See, the Fighters Guild feel like they're more involved with the whole narrative and the story of the game. The Mages Guild are involved with Shogoreth, and although it's fun to deal with Shogoreth, it's really cool that the Fighters Guild are with the whole Molag Ball thing. Speak with me a moment, comrade. Gladly. Who could have known we'd be standing here like this, my friend? You destroyed an artifact of the Prince of Lies, and I... I'm the new leader of the Fighters Guild. Well deserved congratulations, Merrick. Stend our sweaty sword arm. I still have trouble understanding everything that's happened. Aleph dead, a minion of Molog Ball, and sees all colors. Did we do the right thing? She was trying to do the right thing, and now you'll be there to mind her. Aye, you're right about that. But Aleph was my friend, comrade. I'd known her for... We used to joke, you know, about what we'd do if we led the guild. Without her, I don't know what I'm going to do. Well, what do you want to do? Do you have a favorite tavern? Ha! Right now, my friend, I will rest. What comes tomorrow comes then, and only Stendar knows what challenges we'll face. For now, I will talk to the Council, and plan for that tomorrow. Is there anything else before I go? Yes, actually. I'll make sure the way to the Earthforge remains open to you from now on. I've found that the gear forged here often has special qualities. You might find it to your liking. Good luck, my friend. Hey, look at that. I think that's going to be good if you're a blacksmith, right? Maybe? There has to be a reason for it. There has to be like a profession reason for it. Thank you, Guildmaster. Return to the Guild Hall. Let's do it. I knew there was something going on with Aleph. I knew that Cecil Cowers could not have betrayed us. See, everything, she was literally, it feels like she was be, just kind of shoved aside as a traitor from the start. Ah, there you are. Come. We must talk. Hi. Yeah, Varen. Must have got another person to talk to. Yafnir. Let's talk to Yafnir real quick. This great time of unrest within the guild is at an end. You've done very well, comrade. Yafnir, what are you doing here? I am bound for Sovngarde and the halls of Iskramor. But before I take my leave, I would make for you a gift. The prismatic weapon. I retrieved it from where it had fallen after the Mortum Vivicus was destroyed. I'm honored, Yafnir. You are a true hero of the guild, comrade. You deserve nothing less. What's more, consuming the Vivicus has unmade the weapon. It is once again in its primal form. I can return it to your hand in any shape you desire. What do you say, comrade? Let's do a staff this time around, right? Yeah, let's do a staff. A staff, if you please. Comrade, I grow very tired. My time here on Tamriel has gone on far too long. I go now to join my ancestors. To feast in the halls of those gone by. I go knowing that the Fighter's Guild is in very good hands. We'll see you later, Yafnir. Thank you for the staff, the coin, and everything you've done for us. Alright! Time to check out this new staff and see what it's like. Oh my god! Well, I didn't know we were gonna get an epic staff like that. Oh, it's actually even better than the other staff, right? Use 846 magic damage to Undead and Daedra. Increase weapon and spell critical values by 6. 67 health recovery if you have the two items for the Orgrim uh, skill set. Oh my god, it's actually a little bit better, isn't it? Increase the chance to apply status effect by 200%. This staff is 
good in effects, but this... My god, look at that spell damage. Look at those green numbers. I'm liking those green numbers. Oh, so let's see what it looks like, right? Let's go put it out here. Look at that beauty. Look at that. I love the hooks at the end. It looks like a trident. Looks so cool. I love it. It looks so good. Oh my god, this weapon looks amazing. God, it looks so cool. Oh my god. Now I wish I should have gotten the sword, but you know what? I'll take a staff greatly. I will gladly take a staff. No problemo. It's a fire staff as well. We also got uh, Portal to Earth Forge, and we even got to talk to... Can't seem to talk to him at the moment because the Portal to Earth Forge is kind of blocking the way. Very in woods. I think this is actually a pretty good time for us to take a break right here and actually wrap it up. Yeah, I think we're going to just wrap it up right around here, guys. What about all the wandering? What's going on there? Oh, just people talking over there. Not gonna worry about it. Alright, so we can't really talk to the Prophet right now because he just... The portal's in a way. The portal to the Earth Forge is in a way. I think what we need to do is like reset it or something so we can talk to him properly. So for now though, I'm gonna go ahead and actually get off the game right now. Guys, thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed. I have highly enjoyed the challenge that came with it. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Stamriel. Like, subscribe, and as always, have a great day and I'll see you guys in the next episode of Elder Scrolls Online. See ya! Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Sam Riel. Welcome to Lab. Hello, what have we got here? Hello, ladies. How's it going? Breasts are the treasure of the I kind of want to say you could dress better. Mm. <laughs>